Uh, what you're looking at here was the last, um, you know, Arabic style mosque. Yes, it's called the Grand Mosque of Shadian in China. Yeah, which is now being completely desecrated, destroyed, and turned into just an average Chinese looking uh, building. Yeah, that won't last more than three years. Probably not, but that's not the point. The point is that, you know, um, people seem to ignore this side of China and. By the way, I don't want to get into any kind of debate about, you know, um, Muslim, Islam, you know, whatever the case. They do this with everything. Yes. Okay, they do this with Christian churches, knock the crosses off the top. Okay? They do. But this is the last, the absolute last sort of authentic mosque. Yeah. And they've destroyed it to make it look like a Chinese building. Yes. And so if anyone ever has the slightest inkling that China respects other cultures and religions, take a look at what they did to this. They basically turned it into a museum. That's what they do. Uh, we've actually gone to many churches that have like, uh, you know, existed prior in mm -hmm. China. We'll go inside and they actually have gutted it and turned it into a museum about, not about Christianity. It's no. like a museum about the area or whatever. And this church used to be here and some old photos of it and stuff. And like there's Chinese flags. Remember that? Yeah, there's always Chinese flags. There's always a picture of Xi Jinping or, or something, Mao, Mao Zedong or yeah. something around there. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of, uh, you know, it's disrespectful. It's horrible. And it's incredible the uh, silence you hear across the, the Muslim world. Mm. Because you would think that destroying a mosque like this would cause a little bit of an uproar. Well, we do know people that are up in arms and and, and Muslim individuals yes. are up in arms about it, but governments are yeah. not. I feel wild. like if any other country did this, there would be like a jihad. Yeah, it'd be nuts, Yeah, right? they'd be like calling on like yeah, a like the massive holy war. Yeah. yeah, ISIS and stuff would get involved. Yeah. But when China wild. does it, it's, it's crickets. Anyway, we just thought we'd bring it to your attention because this shows you... The massive double standards when it comes to geopolitics and the international community. Yeah. When China does something bad, like destroy the environment or destroy religious, uh, you know, buildings and stuff, silence. They get away with it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like, yeah. and you we'll, know, we'll bring it up. You know, yeah, we know what makes it even worse is if you know the Chinese characters. What is what is written oh, there? My Can God. you tell me what's that? So they've rep they put up a barrier yes. in front of the the mosque now. It yeah. Used to be like a, you know the open square where you sure. go to worship or whatever. This now has the 12 principles of Chinese socialism. Yes. So that's, so that's there now. That's, that's what's plastered, if you see those red characters over yeah. here. It's like the, the Chinese socialist uh, core values. Yeah. And that's what they put there. It's like, oh, it's a place of worship. No, Chinese no. socialist core values. Yeah. Okay. It's anyway. literally salt in the wound. <laughs> it's like, you can't make it up. It's so bad. Yes. But you know what? People forget about this. China will get away with it. And you know what? That's just how it rolls. Open AI, you guys know. Open AI, chat, GPT, all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. Stuff we hate. Yeah, that's what people used to like cheat on their essays or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Open AI, we've been seeing, we've, we've been calling this probably for two years now. Yep. We're like, they're absolutely, like propaganda outlets and yeah. Ch the Chinese government is absolutely positively using open AI and chat GPT yes. to do propaganda. Correct. And it, people are like, yeah, whatever, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And we're like, no, seriously. Remember that whole thing came out about spamouflage or whatever? Yeah. Their, their campaigns that they used AI to make videos for YouTube, which we still see, and we still see now All the time, on YouTube, yeah. they shut down a bunch, but... It's so successful that it superseded all of the real shills. Like they hire these like people from America or Canada. Or yeah, exactly. Yeah. Chinese propaganda. A lot of Canadians. A lot of Canadians. Yeah. Huge proportion of Canadians. Yeah, majority it's only Canadian. 30 million, you guys. I don't know why you're all doing CCP <laughs> yeah, propaganda. Exactly. Right? Right. Like Half the population. <laughs> anyway, yeah. mm -hmm. the they do damage, right? They do yeah. a lot of anti-human rights. And they just post stuff. misinformation and disinformation, disinformation all disinfo. the time. Problem is, mm -hmm. this spamouflage campaign, this AI AI content that was posted all over social media, especially on YouTube, yeah, <clears throat> was hugely successful. Yeah, right. Uh, so there was actually a thing that said like it was debatable on like how much damage they actually did with with these tools, and I think that's to save their reputation. Sure. Um, but we saw like them getting tons of views. In, in fact, in that one report, they were getting hundreds, of millions, of, like tens of millions of views very Correct. quickly. Yeah, right? yeah, way more than anything you see organically. Sure. Anyway, they OpenAI caught a bunch of Russia, China, and Iran influence operations uh, yes. using their. So tools. they admitted that finally, they, yeah. 
Finally. They will always, you know, that whole thing about uh, the Soviets used to say, uh, you know, you'll hang the capitalists with the rope they sell you. Mm. That's the same thing here. Same thing. China and Russia, specifically China, will use our own tools and our own technology to against us. Yes. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, mm. a hu- I won't say what, mm-hmm. but a huge, huge subset of people who consume media on certain platforms mm-hmm. I mean, a a large percentage, and I'm not talking about 1%, I'm talking about maybe half or more of certain topics are coming from Russia and China on these topics about American politics, about everything that now that they've formulated an opinion on and shut out everything else, they're going straight in, honing in and using these platforms and be like, we've converted like a massive chunk of the country now. Yeah, it's all this, that's where you get this. America by party, America by Quite literally, a thing. Yeah, and it and it's funny. We've said this a million times, but when we saw people starting to fall in line with like uh, Kremlin like propaganda, yeah, we're like China's next. Yeah, and all these people are like, no, there's no way I would ever support Chinese propaganda. They're all touting like these outlets that we've been tracking for years now. Yeah, that are Pushing reposting, this, yeah. reposting Chinese propaganda. It. Yeah, oh look at their amazing new EVs. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I just want to touch on that very quickly. This this new propaganda about uh, China's released a new um, a new uh, EV. A lot of people are just calling it an EV that does two thousand kilometers on a single charge. You're like, really? You look into it? No. Just if you do see that popping around, it's not true. It is a hybrid that does about a hundred odd miles on a charge. And then it's got a very large gas tank for that type of small vehicle. And, uh, you can put a gas tank on any battery yeah, power thing. You get exactly. A lot of gas and it gets, it gets good MPG. Yeah, it's yeah. better than a Prius. Yeah. But, you know, it's misleading. It makes yeah, people yeah. think, oh, you charge it and you could drive 2,000 kilometers. It's not true. The original name for ping pong. Whiff whaff. <laughs> Whiff waff. Oh, fancy a spot of whiff waff, old chap. Uh, Chinese water torture is not Chinese. Interesting, isn't it? Are you married? Do you have children? Do you have a car? Do you have a house? How much money do you make every month? Why are you so fat? Why is your nose so big? The first thing she says to me is, Ah, ni pangla hao do. It's like, oh, you got really fat. That's the first thing she says to me. And apparently, there was a massive explosion and he disappeared. And so they think that he flew to the moon because they named one of the craters on the moon after this guy oh so i think in reality what happened is he just vaporized (laughs) 